like the the thing with hex that's why it's like really awesome with like the supply locking because you don't really you just basically put it like you set up your stakes and then you see like how much interest like you're accumulating and it's it's pretty insane like the the amount of the amount of interest on hex is like it's it's insane like even so i in terms of like when i got into hex like i got into hex around um it was actually around like august of this year so um early on when the project first launched like i i I knew who richard hart was like on on youtube like i followed his um his youtube channel watched his videos because he he is a really interesting um influencer in the space so uh, i did like watching his videos and his perspective on things because like he was just he was basically just very honest with like the situation which is ultimately like what i'm what i'm looking for because i'm I, i like to use that kind of information to like kind of help formulate like my decisions like for the upcoming cycle so um i watched a lot of his videos and then it was around like august of like 2020 there was like enough time that went by and then like i just i learned of like the community on twitter and um just like it had a huge there was like a huge network around it so um i was super interested with that and then the the price chart was like awesome so uh and then and then basically like the the like the gains that you get just from from staking are incredible because like one thing this is this is something i was speculating on in general um this is before like even hacks or even before um before like this this bull market that we're in now but like before this cycle started i did have a um i did have basically a like kind of a speculation that like at a certain point people were going to be looking for assets that yield some kind of like dividends and you have like a basket like you you have like staking coins um obviously like we're, we're covering um hex is one of the topics for this channel so and then and then so so i was i'm i won't be surprised to see like a lot of demand for something that generates some kind of yield, especially since we're entering like an era with uh, low interest rates um, or negative interest rates, I should say. So if like you're storing money in a bank account, um, potentially like you could be you could be paying to like store that money in the bank account because of those negative um, negative interest rates. So. Um, yeah, I, I think right now we're basically just getting started, and then um, I fully expect there to be like a lot of demand for anything that generates some kind of yields in the crypto markets. So it's I, that's that's why at least for the like some of the proof of work coins, I'm not as it just kind of sucks like not getting like some kind of reward for like holding the coin basically like it's like every cycle you get these like you get kind of like this progress in the market and then that kind of sets like a new baseline because there's there's a ton of people like in equities that they specifically buy like certain stocks for like dividends and things like that so um you're gonna have basically those speculators at some point entering like the crypto market buying like certain coins that offer those kind of yields yeah man it's um yeah. It definitely makes it easier to not over trade. Like I, I'm not, I'm not a trader at all. Like a 